experimental techniques. Still now we have discussed the different types of vacuum pumps. Today onwards we can discuss the vacuum gauges. The devices which are used for measuring the pressure of the residual gas in any enclosure are called vacuum gauges. The vacuum gauge is based on the property of the gas which is directly or indirectly depends on its pressure. The dependence on pressure should be unique. The transducers is used to convert the measure of property into an observable. The vacuum gauges are classified as direct reading type and indirect reading type. The direct reading type of gauges, the transducers that measures the pressure by means of force exerted by the gas on a suitable surface is used. In indirect reading type, the pressure is determined by property of a gas which depends on the pressure in a unique way. We have to discuss three types of indirect vacuum gauges. That is Pirani gauge, thermocouple gauge and ionization gauges. There are two types of ionization gauges we have to study. That is Penning gauge which is also known as cold cathode ionization gauge and a hot filament ionization gauge. This all belongs to the indirect reading gauge. Next one is Pirani gauge. This is the schematic diagram to represent the Pirani gauge. It is an electrical circuit. In this there is a western bridge, a filament which is to be heated etc. The operating range is 200 to 10 raised to minus 4 torr. And its operation is based on that the heat conductivity of gas depends on the pressure. The device consists of a heated filament R4 supplied from a constant voltage source and is exposed to the gas at the pressure to be measured. The filament wire is heated to a temperature above the surroundings. The temperature of wire depends on the balance between opposing processes of joule heating and heat conduction by the gas. Joule heating depends on the current. The heat conduction by gas depends on the pressure frequency of molecular collisions with the filament and nature of incident gas molecules. That is proportional to the molecular concentration and the thermal conductivity of residual gas. The, in the Pirani gauge, the temperature of wire depends on the pressure P. The resistance of wire is decided by its temperature. So, the measurement of resistance of wire leads to the determinants of, determination of gas pressure. The filament wire is included in 1 amp of Wheatstone's bridge network. The resistance is determined from out of balance bridge current. The current is measured and it is calibrated in terms of pressure in torque. A gauge control unit provides a stabilized power supply to energize the filament wire and also it measures the out of balance bridge current. It provides visual reading on a suitable calibrated scale. The application of Pirani gauges for continuous monitoring of pressures about and raised to minus tor, 4 torr in backing lines. The low pressure limit and raised to minus 4 torr is set by the radiation heat loss. And the high pressure limit of 10 torr is set by the predominance of thermal conduction which is independent of pressure. This all about the Pirani gauge. And the next one is thermocouple gauge. Thermo EMF is generated in, the, in a couple of dissimilar metals attached to a heated filament. Thermocouple of a dissimilar metal which has two junctions. One junction H hot is attached to a filament which is supplied with a constant voltage source. Other junction C hot is kept at the ambient temperature of the gas. The filament temperature and the hot junction temperature is controlled by the resistance R. This is the schematic diagram to represent the thermocouple gauge. In this H represents the one junction which is known as H hot and F is representing the filament. C is representing the C hot which is the other junction and R is representing the resistance 
milli volt meter and ammeters are connected to represent uh, measure the current and voltage correspondingly and the whole system is connected to a vacuum system just like the pirani gauge the filament temperature is dependent on the pressure so the hot tension temperature and also the thermo emf generated in the couple are also dependent on the pressure it can be measured by monitoring the thermo emf by means of a milli voltmeter a single thermocouple is less sensitive than a pirani gauge sensitivity can be improved by using multiple thermocouples such an arrangement is called thermo pile gauge that is a single thermocouple is less sensitive so it can be improved by using multiple thermocouples such an arrangement is thermo pile gauge and the next type is ionization gauges it is mainly two types the first one is cold cathode type and the next one is hot cathode type cold cathode ionization gauge is also known as panning gauge its pressure ranges from 10 to minus 2 to 10 to minus 4 torr the operation is based on the measurement of dc current due to the positive ions produced by the electronic impact ionization in the residual gas This ion current depends on the molecular concentration and the ionization probabilities of the residual gases. The schematic diagram of panning gauge is given below. In this, two plain parallel electric electrodes forms the cathode that is represented as C and C prime in the figure, and a central ring which is taken as anode. and the whole system is placed inside a vacuum tight enclosure and a suitable magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the plane of electrode using a horseshoe magnet this is the schematic diagram that is two plane parallel electrodes as cathodes which is c and c prime and a central ring anode used as anode and the whole system is placed inside a vacuum tight enclosure a cold discharge is initiated by applying several kilovolts voltage across the cathode and the anode the suitable magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the plane of electrodes using a horseshoe magnet electrons make many oscillation in the magnetic field before they reaching the anode this produces large ionization of residual gas the positive ion current collected at the anode linearly dependent on the pressure of the residual gas under favorable conditions this gauge acts as an ion pump therefore the gauge electrode materials are made of stainless steels which does not sputter easily and is chemically comparatively inactive The high pressure limit of 10 to minus 2 torr is set by the initiation of glow discharge when the positive ion current becomes independent of pressure. The ion current at the low pressure limits are small, so it requires expensive amplifier circuits for measurements. The ion current is due to the positive ion collection, and the anode is used to measure the pressure. the electron which produce the ionization are produced by means of a hot filament these electrons process energy of the order 100 electron volt when this electron pass through the residual gas the ionization is produced this positive ions are extracted by a suitable anode The structure of the gauge is similar to that of a triode valve. The filament is central wire and the anode is a cylindrical one outside. Between the filament and the anode there is a grid mesh. The grid potential is set about plus 150 to 300 volts. The collector potential is in the range of minus 20 to minus 50 volts with respect to the filament.
the log pressure limit is 10 is to minus 4 torr sorry 10 is to minus 7 torr this low pressure limit is set by the production of x-rays in the collector anode and the x-ray production is independent of the pressure and it leads to an ionization current which interfere with the original ionization produced by the electrons. The high pressure limit is 10 is to minus 2 torr. At this high pressure limit, a glow discharge independent of the pressure contributes the measured current. Hot filament ionization gauge to avoid the X-ray production and to make the lower minimize limit further down, the gauge geometry can be inverted with the filament outside and the anode at the center, which is just inverted from the previous picture or previous connection, which is used for hot filament ionization gauge. In this geometry, we are used the filament is outside and the anode at the center. In such a way, the total area available for the X-ray production from the anode wire is very small and thus the X-ray production is minimized. Such a configuration is called Bayard-Alpert. Another application of hot filament ionization gauge is that it is used as a gas leak detector especially for the helium gas because the response of this gauge is different for different gases. The ionization gauge in conjunction with the Pirani gauge is used with the helium as a probe gas and the Pirani indicates higher pressure when sampling helium ionization gauge a lower pressure confirm the leak.